Um, I remember because was at school and was like I started to do volleyball just because my friends uh, they started to do after school and then I was like the only one that didn't start because in the beginning also I didn't like so much the, the volleyball you know it was it's, it's strange that because I never planned to be uh, a volleyball professional player but I remember the first time because everybody started to play after school all of my friends and then I say okay I need to start also because also I'm not seeing my friends uh, after school and all of these things I'm doing other sports so the beginning in my career with volleyball was at school and because my friends started to do but after I start uh, I saw that for sure was the sport that, uh, that I want uh, for my life like in the beginning I was using number eight but then the number eight also national team was Jacqueline and also in the clubs normally everybody like to use number eight and also the same was with number one you know like like I said before I'm the baby in the, the every place that I went like national team and the clubs normally because I start my professional career really quick so it was like 18 17 you can't choose the number that you want it's like just give the people give you the number that that have so the, the number one was like that you know like I wanted to play with number 10 but I couldn't because another player that was in the team a long time the, the she liked the number 10 so I had number one and I like also the number one I played like six years with the number one but then in the national team was the same I liked the number 10 and I was lucky because the the one one player stopped to play in the national team and then next year I just could pl start to play with number 10 and then I keep this number and also in Vakif Ben also had the opportunity to play with number 10 so now I hope I can 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 play with number 10 I like more than number one and uh, I, I hope I can keep this number uh, I think was the first uh, Brazilian league that I, I won for sure was that moment like was really special for me because it was the first big tournament that I won and was really important I was really young and also in this time in Brazil it was like really hard uh, games uh, the, the the team that we play against was uh, Osasco this time and also was like national team you know like Sheila, Fernanda Garay, Jaqueline, Fabiola, Camila Bright, Thaisa and we started playing like was 2-0 for them. And it was like more than, uh, yes, like 12,000 people in the, the gym watching us, TV and everything. I was like 17 years old. And then we started to play like was 2-0 was for them. And then we changed the game and won and win like 3-2. So it was really special. Like my first tournament and all this like responsibility and really difficult match. So it was really nice. I think, uh, I, don't, I don't remember one match, but to play the Champions League match was really special for me. You know, the, it was the first time that I'm playing Champions League. Also, we have tough moments in Champions League. And for me, the match in the Champions League was more sp special for me, for sure. It's like, no, I don't have uh, the things, but I have something uh, funny. It's like, when I play one match, like with the one shoes and I play bad. Even if I really like these shoes, I just don't play well, like one or two mates with this, the same shoes because I feel like, okay, I did one match bad with the shoes. So I will keep these shoes a little bit like one week away from me. And also when I play good, you know, like when I play good, I keep these shoes. It's like something, it's like I'm not surprised. I don't have something that I do normally. But sometimes when happen this, not all the time, but sometimes when happen this, I, I do these things. <laughs> magnet. Yes, Magnet. And it's a really nice song, so I keep I was like listening to this same song like almost every day and before the 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 game. It was like make me active, you know, like positive and security, everything. I like I really like to hear to hear songs before the match. It's important for me. Uh, for me, it was Tokyo. 
in Japan because uh, in the beginning I was really curious to to know uh, Asia more in Japan also. And everybody was talking about Tokyo, a lot of people and technology. So for me, it was really special one, like uh, the culture of Japan, you know, they are really different, like really kind person, like really like if they need to do something, they do this thing like the right way. So it's really nice to, to know Tokyo. Uh, to become a champion, you need to be focused. Also, to be positive, I think it's really important. Normal people don't say that, and have a lot of determination. You know, like uh, I think it's three of three things that he, to become a champion, you you should have. <laughs> three words like work hard, uh, family, and and passion uh gabby more word happy i don't know <laughs> i'm really like happy person like trying to be positive all the time smiling all the time i think this is gabby not i was not popular in this school i was like the one that <laughs> Just like to play sports all the time, <laughs> but not like in Brazil, but not not in my age. It was not like popular the, the girls that like to play uh, sports, all of these things. I think the best thing is like I can uh, help some child in Brazil and in other countries. You know, like uh, inspiring also another people. You know, like keeping touch sometimes in Instagram. They have some problems or they want to be a professional players and also I try to have this connection you know like not all the time I can do that you know but I think the best thing is like that like trying to show a little bit of my history that, that I didn't give up and I, I try to keep going with my dreams and doing all the things that I can to 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 reach my goals and all of these things so I think it's the best thing you know like to I don't like to say like famous but to have like this you know so to, to help some child and people that have the same dreams or that want the same things that, that, that I, that me. So I think it's the best thing. Fine. The worst part, it's like sometimes you see your life, like everybody wants to know everything about you or saying things that normally I'm not doing, you know, like, ah, Gabby's doing that, but no, I'm not doing like that. Like create, create, they create sometimes, you know, like media create things that is not true. So sometimes this is bad or it's too much people trying to know everything about you like too much you know like it's okay i'm a volleyball player it's good to show something in my life but it's not ev everything you know also something it's important to to stay at home at family sometimes but sometimes people also don't understand and wants to be a part of everything you know i understand but also it's difficult that part Uh, I never had something really crazy. No, actually, I, now I remember I have because I have a big fan from Japan. And one time she went to Brazil to watch me. She, I think she went two times. She was also a fan of Sheila, like la last 10 years. And then when I, I, I arrived in, I went to national team, she became my fan also. So when we went to Japan, she always gave me presents, these things. And one time she went to Brazil. So imagine how far is that? So she traveled almost all the world just to watch me and keep in touch uh, these things. So I think it was the most cr craziest thing, craziest thing that I ever seen. <laughs> I was like, it's big responsibility, you know, like uh, I just feel like because also she is really nice you know like not a crazy person that like ah, i want to see you talking to you all the time she just wants to watch me uh, practicing uh playing these things so it was like big responsibility you know it's not that she wants a lot of things from me she just wants to to see to watch gabby playing training practicing this thing doing the things that normally i do so i just trying to 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 do my best like playing the maximum that i can these things but of course, like different feeling, you know, like I, I felt like important, like how one person can travel the world just to watch me or like just one practice or just one match and come back again. So it was like different feeling.
<laughs> was really nice this opportunity in China also. It was really yeah. like different, you know, like everybody's like calling my name, this match, but also I'm trying to give back, you know. Like I said, I think it's important. They just wanted to have something special, you know, they like support me all the time in all the match. So after the match, I try to take some pictures, these things. Like I said, it's difficult like with everybody, but I try to give back this little bit of this love. Because also the, 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 the magic of the sport is like that, you know, the people that watch, they keep us like uh, alive in volleyball, you know, the people that watch and love volleyball and, and make this big thing that it's volleyball in the world. So I think we, we need to give some, something back for them. Jessie J, you know, the singer, I love her. She's amazing. Also, I'm trying to go to watch her in one concert, but I never I never have an opportunity because normally when she's in Brazil, I'm in the Europe playing or something. And then when I'm in Europe, she's in Asia, like doing another, another thing. So I hope one day I can have one selfie with her. I have a lot of them, like uh, Who You Are and Price Tag is famous one. Everybody knows, but I think Who You Are is the best one. If I could be someone, well, probably Federer, uh, to see like how is to play important tournaments uh, with a lot of crowd and I don't know, be with a part in the in this uh, like be a tennis professional player. Uh, it's gratitude. It's my favorite one. It's gratidão. It's gratitude in English. I think I, lo I love this word. It's like it's really powerful, you know, like it can change uh, everything. So it's gratitude. Let me think. I don't know a lot of words in Turkish. I think. <laughs> uh, is to, to jump one uh, airplane i don't know the name but to to i don't know the name in english but to jump with an airplane you know like uh in brazil it's like paraquedas but i don't know in english the name uh, parachute yes parachute to do parachute <laughs> ah for sure it's normal <laughs> I think Wonder Woman for sure. I don't like it at all so much, but I think Wonder Woman to fly, to fly for sure. I don't know, difficult. I'm actually I'm really bad to give names for my things, you know, like it's really difficult. I may put my name, I don't know, Gabby. Can be. Yes, or maybe happy. <laughs> <laughs>